think I have uh, enough for both of these, like exactly. 0.25 ounces, I believe I'm going for here. Give the old purge. Now these dry hop for about seven days and either bottle both of them or keg this one and just bottle the Brett one. We'll find out. Bad IPA, Gravity, 10, 12. I'm gonna bottle it. Um, it's been here for about three and a half weeks now. So I think it's pretty stabilized. I did get a weird little solventy smell off this when I opened it up and put it into uh, you know, the test of gravity. I'm gonna give a, a taste test here. I, don't, I didn't see any mold grow in this, which is good. It doesn't smell like mold necessarily, it just smells a little weird. I don't know, I don't know about this one. It doesn't taste like pine salt, but it has a pine salt smell. I don't know. I don't know. I want to bottle it. Uh, it was already iffy to begin with, with there being weird potential mold in the packet. I think there's mold in this. I'll put it in a bottle, crack it open. If it still has this off flavor to it, I might just dump the bottles. We'll see. I only got four beers out of it, meaning I only bottled four beers and I dumped the rest. I did another taste test on it. I smelled it. It just, something's off. <laughs> I think the yeast was off in the beginning. It smells weird, like like I said, like chemicals or musty chemicals. I don't know. It's bizarre. Carbonate these anyway, see what happens. If it smells weird after these bottle condition for like a couple weeks, I might, I'm, I'm not going to swallow. I'm just going to take a sip, spit it. And if it all tastes really wacko, I'll just, I'll just dump the rest. So uh, yeah, let's see you in, in two weeks with a taste test for the one I just bottled and the one I kegged. <laughs> Can't tell the difference. That's right. That's right. Diacetyl again. Yay! I can't use the OSO5 yeast anymore. I'm done with it. I've been reading about it and it's, it's, I've heard it's about a flocculator. I've heard it can produce acetyl. I talked to some of the home restorers said they've had issues with the acetyl with it as well. I kept wanting to use it because it's so easy to store. Also, it is only a recent thing where this diacetyl started to crop up heavily. My pitching temps, I calculated out exactly what per calculator should be. I've done it dry. I've rehydrated it. I fermented it warm at the end to get try to get rid of acetyl. This one fermented for three and a half weeks. Thought it all cleaned up. Here we are. No more USO5. I'm shifting gears. 1056 or the 001 by Y East. I'm gonna go for one of those and hopefully there's a change because I'm not getting diacetyl in my other beers with other yeasts. So that's unfortunate. It's not like fresh and vibrant. It just has a butterscotch. Not necessarily a butter as much, but butterscotch in particular. That being said, the Cascade is coming through. These are probably my favorite Cairo hops I've used. Um, the Citra I liked. Uh, the Equinot I did with Brewyard was good. That actually was the best one. The Simcoe Equinot hybrid that was my homebrew was pretty good too. I think the hop amount was right. I think the, the charges when I did it was right. Um, I wouldn't change anything except for, except for the yeast. I love these cryo hops. They're hands down the best hops I've used. I want to keep using them. I think the, net, the next one I want to do may, may be Mosaic. Um, and I think I've used all the cryo hops that are in existence that I can think of. There might be a couple I'm not thinking of. Let's try the one that I did with Brett. This is going to be real sketchy. Start, the whole thing's already, already washed anyway, so it doesn't matter. This one, <laughs> I do not think is going to be good. It tasted so bizarre at bottling. It's carbonated. It sounds like it's carbonated. Oh man. Like I said, I saw no mold. It fermented out. It just had a, a weird, what was that? I think it's just like paint thinner or something like that or solventy. I don't know if I want to drink this. It smells weird. It doesn't smell like, it just smells like paint thinner. And that's all I'm getting. I was worried this molding in. I didn't want to get toxins into it. So I'm still nervous there might be toxins in this, but 
I doubt it, but the fact that it smells off, I'm just gonna spit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't taste that bad, actually. It, it smells way off than it tastes. Yeah, I'm glad I only bottled four bottles of it because it's, it's not right. It is not right. So, obviously don't use yeast that has mold in it. Or, or use a better yeast that doesn't produce, produce diacetyl. I, like I said, all the steps to, to get rid of it. I raise it up in fermentation. I get the right pitching temps. I bought a fresh pack for this too. I still can drink this. I'm gonna get through it. It's only a gallon. Um, and I'm gonna keep experimenting. I'm, gonna keep, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on this. I'll make another IPA kind of soon, I imagine. Probably with the mosaic. The whole thing will happen again. But this time, I'm not gonna get to ask at all. I know it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Yeah, and get out there and brew a beer that doesn't have mold in it or is brittle with the asshole.